What is fiscal responsibility? Balancing our budget. Paying off our debts. Whether we're the government or whether we're a household. Our public debt is now literally off the chart. In the second half of 2008, we increased our public debt by two trillion dollars. And in 2009, we increased it by at least another trillion. We are quickly approaching the 13 trillion dollar debt. How did we get there? Well, our trade deficit is indirectly related to our debt. And most of that debt is with China and Japan as well. We have what we call a global imbalance, where China is accumulating trillions of dollars in foreign exchange reserves, most of which are in dollars, while the US continues to import cheap Chinese goods, accumulating very large trade deficits every year. China uses the money that it makes from the sale of its exports to add to its foreign exchange reserves, which it then subsequently lends back to US consumers at very cheap rates. One way to think about this is that the global economy, as a couple of restaurants, Japanese restaurant and a Chinese restaurant, full of American customers. China owns the Chinese restaurant. Japan owns the Japanese restaurant. The American diners are paying with their credit cards. And they're considered good customers because while they don't pay off the balance, they make their minimum payment every month. Back in the kitchen, we have Chinese laborers making all the things that we want to order off of that menu. Plastic toys, electronic goods, clothing. Who owns the credit card company? Japan and China. Are we an addict? Are we addicted to cheap credit? Are we addicted to cheap imports? Are China and Japan drug pushers? And we are locked in this dysfunctional arrangement where the drug pusher encourages our addiction. Or, is it the other way around? Are we a very aggressive and persistent patient who is going to several doctors demanding a refill prescription of the painkillers that we're addicted to? We are locked in a Chinese finger trap, particularly with China. If you're stuck in the trap, and neither side wishes to do what it has to do to get out of its trap, then you're going to feel like you're really stuck. The only solution is to act unilaterally. Don't wait for China to revalue its currency, open up its capital account. We need to act unilaterally and become fiscally responsible, address our debts, try to balance our budgets. And that means cutting spending and raising taxes. If we look at California, which is a microcosm of what is happening at the federal level, we are stuck in a deep way, deep in debt, because we regularly issue bond measures, put it to the voters, without requiring the voters to come up with a way to pay for those bond measures. So now we have all of these spending obligations that we cannot get out of because the voters approve the bond measures, which most voters do not understand means they are giving the politicians 
approval to borrow more money without any means of raising taxes to pay for the money that they borrowed. We are stuck right now in gridlock. The Republicans refuse to raise taxes. The Democrats refuse to make a lot of the spending cuts the Republicans are asking for. But even if we made all the spending cuts that everyone is asking for, we still would have a huge deficit that needs to be paid off. We could kick that can down the road and let future generations pay it off. But it turns out that we can't kick the can down the road as far as we might think. Because even if we do want to take the approach of having future generations pay it off, we're going to face higher interest rates and inflation. I suggest that we tax something that all of us can perhaps do with less of. It creates environmental benefits and it adds revenue. And we could do this at the federal level and at the state level. Right now we have the cheapest gas in the world. And in real terms, corrected for inflation, it's cheaper than it's ever been. If we want to reduce our dependence on oil, if we want to save the environment, address global warming, if we want to pay off our huge deficits at the state and federal level, let's start with the gas tax. Thank you.